Hello and welcome to the channel. We are playing the Hunter Call of the Wild on Emerald Coast and we're going to discuss Magpie Hotspots. In the video today we'll go over the locations to hunt the Magpie Goose. The Magpie only lands in locations where they have mangroves. You know what else is in the mangroves? Crocodiles. <sighs> I placed these cards in areas that I spotted Magpie Geese land and tried to hunt them in several different locations. Always remember to place at least 20 decoys to have the maximum attraction range. Now the northernmost sections of the map have a decent number of magpie geese along with a great number of crocodiles. The second location to the south, the mangroves have probably a larger population of magpie geese. Now the crocodiles will spook these geese while they're circling your decoys and they will fly away without landing. How disappointing is that every time this happens to me? Wondering what to do. This is an issue with all species that drink in the mangroves. What I did to counteract this issue is place a tent near my magpie decoys. Fast travel to the tent. Take advantage of the fact that crocodiles will not spawn in a radius of 200 meters from the tent. Of course, this may not last forever. More crocodiles will start moving into the area. Fast travel back to the tent. Wait for the next fly of magpie geese to move in. Hopefully this time, no crocs will be in the area and the magpies will happily land near your decoys. Now let's talk about need zone times. Magpie are most active early in the morning to late afternoon, but I've had my best hunts in the late afternoon between 13 and 1500 hours. Now my magpie hunts became a lot easier once I discovered the trick with the tent. Now if you don't own the DLC duck and cover, that includes the waterfall blind. You can also use a tree stand or even a tripod. I've hunted plenty of ducks from tripods. It works just as well. Let's take a look at when I finally got my diamond magpie goose, which by the way is not a true goose. It's in a different family and is not considered a true goose. They don't have web feet and you see them swimming in the water. When you spot them, you can see that they do not have web feet. So we have some geese coming in. Finally, the crocs are being nice to me today. Magpie goose are circling. It's around 1300 to 1500 hours is when I keep resetting the clock over and over again. Same spot in the hot spot that I showed you on the map. Looks like we've got several flocks of geese coming in. I like to spot all the geese as many as I can before they land so I can pick the males out to take my first shot. And there's a level 5, so I'm just going to keep my eye on him. I'm not even going to try to spot any of the other geese. Like I was saying earlier, I like to spot as many, as many geese as I can, find the males when they land. I take those out first. My second or follow-up shots after that, I get anything that flies. I always try to take out as many males as I can. Of course, I always use herd, herd management. Even with the geese and the ducks, I don't shoot the level twos. Come on, baby. Land for Papa. <clears throat> Looks like he's coming in. They do that little double bounce and they make their landing. So he's in the water right on the other side. Of that. There we go. There he is. Boom! Gotcha, baby. What the hell happened? He just kind of froze up there. Okay. So I'm going to be honest with you. With all the other ducks, all the other geese, I did a lot of hunting over and over again trying to get super rares. Magpie geese, probably not going to be doing too much more hunting. Now that I got a diamond for the trophy lodge, that's probably it for the magpie goose. Now if I'm out one day in a spot, another level 5, flying around, I may try to hunt him again. Well guys, thanks for watching. As always, really appreciate it. If you haven't already, do me a big favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. Keep on hunting, stay happy, and I will see you next time.